Okay, so we uh, know we have a, a data set from our, our cohort. I haven't actually got that data set where I can see it, but hopefully you have seen it. Um, and suppose we wanted a, a random sample of 50 students from the population of A-level math students. So the first thing to ask is, A-level math students, does that correspond with what our data set's about? Um, and the data set may well have other kinds of students in. For example, it may include everyone doing A-level statistics, even if they're not also doing A-level maths. So the first thing we're going to need to do is run a filter. So we use the database terminology. We filter on the course field, making sure we've got all the A-level math students and no one else. Now we go into the standard set of bullet points for random sampling. So we have to number the population then we have to use random numbers, but we have to say how. We have to ignore some things, and in fact we have to ignore some other things. And then we have to select. And then we have to continue, continue until. Okay, so you've got actually notes on the previous page of your booklet of all of these steps. So you may actually, I'll flesh these out in a second, you may want to pause the video and think about how these statements could, should continue. You want to do that. Think about how we do numbering, how we use random numbers, what kind of random numbers we use, how we do all of that. See if you can complete those statements and then unpause it. Okay, so you're doing that now. Okay, so you, I'm, I'm assuming you've done that and you've unpaused it. So here are the answers. So um, we number the um, uh, records from well you will be able to put in the exact the proper numbers for the uh, database you've got I don't know how many students you've got but let's say it's zero zero um, to um, 221 or whatever the, the number would be this will be if there are not 221 this would be if there are two, two 222 students watch out for that if you are um, starting numbering from naught, then the top number will always be one less than the number of students you've got. Okay, so we need to use random numbers. Okay, if these are the patterns of our numbers of people, we need to use three digits at a time. And you need to st specify the number of digits. Okay, all right, what will we need to ignore? Well, if the three digits are not uh, the number of a student, then we need to ignore them. So we ignore. Um, triplets greater than 222. Okay, what else do we ignore? Well, if we've already got um, a, a student chosen, we need to ignore repeats. We re ignore repeated triplets, I'm going to put. So we don't want to select any student more than once. Okay, Bl blindingly obvious step, the next one, but you have to state it, we have to select the student or the record in the database corresponding to each triplet. And then the last one, again, blindingly obvious, When how long do we continue? Well, the information's there in the question, but we still have to say we can need to continue until 50 records have been selected. Okay, so I hope my writing is legible there. Um, that's how, those are the, the bullet points you have to use. First one doesn't always apply, but the other ones are just standard for taking a random sample.